Well, exploiting a computer is a really great work. However, our goal as penetration testers is to maintain access to this compromised computer and to reduce the time we already consumed and all the efforts we put in attacking uh, the same machine over and over again. So for this purpose, we need to install a backdoor upon our first access or compromise. To do this, we will use Netcat for this purpose. And as we saw earlier in the previous video, that Netcat can act as a simple backdoor. So suppose that you have a interpreter session on a compromised computer. In this case, my computer is a Windows 10 machine and I have a interpreter session. So the first thing I need to do is to upload this Netcat program. For this purpose, I will issue the upload command from my interpreter session and I will refer to the Netcat program on my desktop and then I will point to the location where I need to upload it on the Windows machine. It will be under syswow64. So as you know, on the Windows 10 machine, which is a 64-bit machine, you have system32 and uh, 64 directories. Windows automatically handles the file placement of your 32-bit file or 64-bit files. In this case, this nc.exe is a 32-bit file. So even if you put it in system32, it will automatically appear in syswow64. So just to make it easier, I'm writing this here. I'll just press enter and you will see that the file has been uploaded to this directory. Let's go to our Windows machine here and try to search for this file. This PC, Windows, Windows, then syswow. Then I'll search for nc.exe. As you can see, 542, so yeah. This is the time I have uploaded this file. Going back to my Kali machine, now we have the file placed on the victim's machine, okay? So we need to have a mechanism that this file is booted or loaded upon the boot of the machine each time. So each time the user restarts or boots the machine, this Netcat file will start and starts listening by itself. So for this purpose, we need to create a registry key called Netcat that will boot up the service every time, as we said, the system is started. So this will give us actually permanent access to the victim's machine. So on the interpreter session as well, just try the reg enum key. We just want to see the list of services that are automatically run currently on this target machine. Okay, so K for a key and write this registry entry, HKLM, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and here we go. There are no entries in this key. So now we need to create the key in order to set this process to run upon the boot of the computer. So use the command of reg set val key and use the same value for the key. Then use the v parameter for the new value and we call it netcat. And then we use the d for the data. So the data in this registry entry will be it will be c windows and syswo64 then nc.exe and we will make it a listen so the listener daemon on port 6666 okay and then we will execute command.exe so just hit enter and you'll get a message that it has successfully set the net key now if we go to the Windows machine, let's try to locate this registry entry. Let's search for that from the start. Let's try to press find and search for the netcat value. And you will see that the registry entry netcat has been created and this is the value that we've just passed 
from the interpreter. I'll go back to my Kali machine and I will reboot this remote computer. If you go here, you'll see that it has started the reboot sequence. If I go back to my Kali machine, I will see that the interpreter session has died. Again to the Windows machine after the reboot and let me access that machine. Now I'll go directly to my Kali and open a new terminal. Now if I issue the netcat command pointing to this compromised victim, I should have a quick remote shell. So let's see. V4 verbose and to enter the host address 192.168.211. The remote address was of the machine is 129 and the port is quad 6. Just hit enter and here we go. Now we have full remote access. We have a shell for Windows and you can do anything. So sky is the limit now and your backdoor is installed and you can access the remote target anytime even if the, the target machine has been patched or upgraded or etc.